David Bison here. You guys are watching Paratech 10. In this edition, the subject is something that I alluded to in our last episode. That was our episode 175, where we were doing the initial dyno testing of our 408, which we're entering in the classic engine shootout. Just three engines, Mopar, Chevrolet, and Ford. All of them 408. Now, we did some cam timing changes there very quickly without taking down the front of the engine in the typical way. The water pump stayed where it was, the uh, timing cover stayed where it was, the damper stayed where it was. All this was done without getting our fingers wet. So, here's how it was done. What we're going to do here is uh, <clears throat> demonstrate how the modified Cloy's timing chain cover, the way we modified it, enables us to phase the camshaft in, in, uh, in very short order. Uh, so we're, it's, we're about to, I'll show you, we're going to start how easy it is to uh, phase the cam. So uh, on that note, I'll start wrenching, and you'll see it doesn't take much. So we're going to take the cover off, the modified cover that came from Cloy, which will enable us to access the SA gear timing chain. I really like those SA uh, chains. Folks, I should say we're going to put a clock on this and you'll see probably about five or six minutes, that's all. He'd done this quite a few times, so he should be slick at it. Okay, not that. I'll just get this. As you see, we're not going to have to take off the water pump or the dampener or separate a two-piece timing cover. The extra spacer between the water pump and the uh, block would make life even easier. It wouldn't take much to put a two-inch extra spacer, would it, Greg? No, and I do have these spaces here on this electric water pump, which makes it easier. Well, let's look at that for the next one, put an extra spacer on there. Well, Especially when we're doing cam testing. That's okay. It's pretty easy. Now here was the key to the whole thing. That this plate is the piece that we made. If you look at the cloys, the way it came, it's much smaller than this, which doesn't enable you to access the half a dozen bolts on the SA timing chain to make the adjustment. Okay, so now now I can see inside the timing uh, chain right there. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to rotate it so I can see the, uh, the markings. I'm going to go around until I get to those timing marks. Okay. Well, we've located where the timing marks are. I get all these here. Well, here Greg's loosening off the bolts. Once he's got in there and loosened off the bolts, it's quite easy. You get a screwdriver in and tweak that uh, timing gear around to advance it or loosen it. Whose gear is it? No, SA gear, I think it is. SA gear? Yep. I've always liked them. I've always liked them. Now, okay. We're going to extend that water pump. No, it's, it's, it's okay. Though. No, no, it's, it's, we need to make everything as easy as possible yeah. when we're dyno testing. I'm thinking of putting a remote water pump on there so all of that is clear. Now that I've got those two loose, the can is now ready to move. It should move. I'll watch it. We're going to set it back 
four degrees. Yeah, okay. So you're moving the crankshaft around and the gear staying still. Oh, man, I got the... I got... Yeah. Yeah, I see what I have to do. I see what I have to do. Now we're good to go, David. At this point, you just tighten it up. Double check, double check, triple check. Anybody who's had to change cams will realize that the cost of a couple of spacers is insignificant with the time you save not having to take the water pump damper off. Okay, then we just put our cover. Okay, we're done. You can see how easy it was, not having to disturb the, uh, the water pump or the dampener or a, a two-piece timing cover. Um, there's literally four bolts, and I had to take the pointer off because one of the bolts lines up with that. Done. That's it. I mean, it's, it couldn't, couldn't be much easier. Well, all told, it's taken about 15 minutes of no hassle. That's the point. Yeah. No hassle. Yeah. Now. If at the track you had to take the water pump off, now, let's add another 10 minutes and say it took you 25 minutes. Now You've got the time between rounds. Now, let me put a little editorial in here. Now, yep. I took uh, the, the way I modified this clause cover, took some pictures of it, and at the PRI show, I showed it to them. I said, this is the way you should make it. Well, I got their attention. They, 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 they copied some of my pictures or transferred them. And so I told them, well, you owe me a free one if you, if you, if you, if you do, if you make this. The marketplace. Um, again, you have to use that in conjunction with the uh, SA gear. I believe that's the name of it. We have the half a dozen bolts. I, I like that uh, SA. There it is. Done. You need to bomb by Cloys uh, to get them to make this. Uh, send, call them on the phone. Send them an email. So the more of you guys, if you do this, uh, maybe the more them they'll make, uh, then it'll become uh, less expensive. Well, that's it for now, folks. But. Um... I should say that there should be a bunch of videos coming up soon because I've got about three quarters of the way through three or four videos but just haven't finished that last quarter. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will sh see you all shortly, hopefully. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, get notified, etc. And if you have any of those super thanks, great. We've got a big bill on parts to pay. Thank you.